سبحان الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله as you can see by the grace of Allah سبحانه وتعالى that he has given us and the brothers here today okay and obviously we've got the cameraman Saeed Uddin the tawfiq and the ability to visit the house of Allah سبحانه وتعالى Allahu Akbar, you know, I was originally going to talk about something else, but something very beautiful happened just before Isha Salah. So what we, we've just prayed Isha and we've, done, we've completed another tawaf, Alhamdulillah, but we were standing right next to the Maqam Ibrahim, and there was a Sheikh there, right, just before Salah. And uh, actually the person holding the camera, Saeed, he asked him a question, something in relation to taking videos or photos, etc. And then he started, you know, I mean, he could speak loads of different languages, Arabic, Fusha, Urdu, English, everything. So it was really easy to speak to him, right? So he asked him that, then he replied back saying, look, at this time, because basically what happened was the Adhan of Isha just went, and it was in between the Adhan and the Iqama. So then what he then went and said, he said a beautiful hadith of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It comes in Bukhari as well. Aw kama qala alayhi salatu wasallam. He said, um, الوقت بين الأذان والإقامة الدعاء بين الأذان والإقامة لا يرد أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام which basically means that the dua the supplication that's made between the adhan and the iqama Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not return it empty handed meaning he accepts it subhanallah say subhanallah subhanallah you know on that note subhanallah then we started salat al-isha it was Sheikh Mahir Al Muhaiqili that did that led the salah as well. Beautiful recitation. And what did he read in the first raka'ah? Subhanallah. He started reading from the verses of the Holy Quran. A'udhu billahi minash shaitani rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa idha sa'alaka ibadi anni fa inni qareeb. Ujibu da'awata da'i idha da'an. Subhanallah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He reminds us again and again and again in the Holy Quran. He says that whenever a person, a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he asks about me, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us this. Who are we? We're insan, we're, we're nobody come to Allah. He's saying that whenever we ask about him, inni qareeb, verily I am close to him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying he is close to us. Ujibu da'wata da'i idha da'an. That he accepts the servant, the ibad, his prayer, whenever we ask him. Subhanallah. He's telling us himself in the Holy Quran, that the dua will be accepted. So why don't we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? My dear respected brothers and elders, subhanallah, and sisters, you know, there's one thing that we need to understand, that we don't just ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we come here. You know, subhanallah, yes, every single dua is accepted in front of the holy Kaaba, and every single salah is times by 100,000, yes, subhanallah, but even when we are at home, Whenever we need something, we need to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first. I'm not saying don't ask anybody else, okay? But ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first, naturally. If we need a day off from work, if we're struggling on an essay, an assignment, if we're going for a job application, okay? We're trying to buy a, a purchase a house, we, you know, our, our family are ill, our sons, daughters, they're in hospital, something like that. If you're, if you, if you want children, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, don't go to the doctors and ask them, what do I need to do? You know, you could go to, you could resolve to that afterwards. The problem is that we are going to the other asbab and the means first, and then when it doesn't work out, then we sit down in salah on the musallah and then we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, my dear respected brothers and elders, we need to make it a habit, inshallah. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first, verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept, and then we continue to pursue it, inshallah ta'ala, Allah will accept. So my dear respected brothers and elders, dua of mukhul ibadah, supplication is the heart of worship. We need to make this, try and integrate it in our hearts and try our best to make more and more dua. Wa akhiru da'amana alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.